Hello everyone, welcome back to The Gaming Flow and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Naraka Blade Point is having crashing issue or it is not launching or it is won't launch, freezing and stuttering, black screen, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even many more issues which is happening for many of the users right now. The game is actually free right now and many users having this particular issue so we're going to thought about making this video. So just follow the instructions if you're having this way. So if you're for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we need your support so let me directly get into the workaround. The first one when you're having these kind of trouble, all you can do is you can do or start with a simple restart. For this, just need to go over here in this icon, go over here, go to a restart. Once your system is restarted successfully, just try launching the game and this might work for you as well. If this is not working, we have to move to the next step. Next step is nothing but you have to try with the first one. The first step is all about. We have to try with verify integrity of game file. For this, we just need to go over here in the game, right click and go to properties, go for install it files and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So when you click on this one, what happens is if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step. So this is a very important step. You should not be neglecting this. You can try this as the first one because, uh, you know, if this is any one of the files are corrupted and if any files are missing, this particular crashing issue can even happen so you can fix from the beginning itself. So I'm going to skip this up because I'm not going to tap over here in the verify integrity of game file because the game is around 33.47 GB which is going to take a little bit of time. So let's get completed this between and once this reach 100% you, need, you will be getting a play button here just click on the play button and proceed further. Next one let me move to the next step. Next step is all about we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So many users launch the game from Steam so that might even cause the issue. So if that is the case, we can try with launching the game from the installation folder. For this, just go over here in the game, right click and go to properties. Now from here, go to install it files. Just click on the browse. So when you click on this one, you'll be getting a folder like this. That is, if you check at the top, that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Naraka blade point. So from here, we just need to select the application. We need to launch the game. So launch the game from, instead of launching the game from Steam, many users launch the game from installation folder and for most of the users this did work it so you can try this out. After launching the game from the installation folder, we can also try two more steps from the same installation folder. First one is run the game as an administrator. So hence we are in the installation folder. Just navigate to this one. We need to navigate to this particular one that is known as uh, Naraka Blade Point. Now from here you just need to right click and go to show more options and you have to go to properties. Now from here go to compatibility. Now from here click on run this program as an administrator. We have to go for apply and we have to go for ok. So run the program as an administrator. It did work in my knowledge for many of the users. Even many users mentioned this particular step helped them in the reddit even in the steam community forum. So you can try this out. So after this one, if still the issue is not persisting, we can try with launching the game or running the game in the compatibility mode. For this, you just need to right click, go to show more option once again, go to properties, compatibility. Over here, as you can see the compatibility mode, select run this program in compatibility mode. First, you can try with Windows 7, go for apply and go for OK. If Windows 7 is not working, go for Windows 8, go for apply and go for OK. Try with either Windows 7 or Windows 8. One should be working fine for you. So once you set this up, you can just close this and close this as well and go back to this particular step which we mentioned in the first that is right now as you can see 878 files successfully validated which means there is no issue. Go back to the Steam and try a launch the game. So if this is not working, we have to move to the next step. That is all about, we need to make sure the time, time zone and region should be correct. For this, we just need to go over here in the search. Now from here, we have to go to settings over here. Now from here, we need to go over here from the settings and we have to, uh, sorry, we have to go to time and language. Now from here, first go to date and time. 
So most people end up in making one mistake, they usually turn this off. That kind that can be the causing the issue. So make sure a habit this you can cross check this both should be turned on. This should be turned on as well as this should be turned on. You have to tap on the sync now option as well and make sure the sync is correct. So you have to go back once again, go to the language and region. Over here, as you can see, I have set this to United States. So you have many options. So if you're from United States, it's fine with it. So if you're from any other countries, like you're from UK, then you have to select United Kingdom. If you're from, uh, you know, uh, Germany, you have to select Germany. And once you set this up, you have to close this and you have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is nothing but you can try with the next step. That is all about we need to launch the game using Alt and Tab. So for this, we just need to go over here. You can see the play button, but when you're clicking on the play button, you just need to do this. You just need to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. Press Alt and Tab from the keyboard together with the play button. And this did work out for many users, so you can try this out. After trying with this, we can move to the next step that you have to delete the saved game file. You'll be losing all the progressions, but this didn't work out for many users. For this, just go over here in this file explorer over here. Now go to this PC, go to documents over here. So you'll be finding the folder on the Naraka blade point when you're planning to save the game. So just delete the respective folder. And once you delete the respective folder, you have to go back and go back and try launch the game. So you'll be losing all the saved progressions in the game, but that is fine because we need to work the game so you can start it from the scratch once again and that's going to work for you as well. <clears throat> Next one is nothing but we have to allow the game to Windows security. For this reason, we have to go over here in the search, go for control panel, now go for system and security, go for Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, go to allow and Apple feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, you have to keep scrolling down and keep on navigate to Naraka Blade Point. So keep scrolling down and navigate to Naraka, Naraka Blade Point. Now, as you can see, this is private and public should be turned on. So imagine the game is not added here. So how you can do this? For this, just click on the change settings. Now from here, go to allow another app, go for browse. Now go to this PC, go to local disk C, program file x86. Keep scrolling down Steam, go for Steam apps, go for common. Now frame here we have to go to Naraka, Naraka Blade Point, over here you can find somewhere else it will be here. So, battle bit, okay now the game is here, so you have to select the application and go for open and add it. So I'm getting the error because it's already added, so that is why I'm getting the error. So once it's been already added, so you are fine with this. So uh, once you added it, you can see the differences once you add this up. We can, if the game is not here, this is how you have to add it. So just close this and go back and try launch the game. Next one is nothing but you can try with the next one that you have to unplug all the USB devices. So we might be connected with multiple monitors or USB ports might be filled with the joystick controllers and even any other peripherals. So remove everything. Once you remove everything, launch the game. And once the game is successfully launched and if you wanted to play the game with the controllers, just connect back the controller. And I found this particular uh, step from the Reddit and uh, not only for this game, for many users mentioned this did work it for them, not only for this game, for many games. So that's why I added this particular step so you can try this out. Next one is nothing but we have to try with performing a clean boot. For this, just go over here in the search, go for uh, system configuration, go for services, go for disable all over here and go for hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for OK. That's going to ask you for restart. So those users who are watching this, they have to go for a restart. But uh, I'm here in the middle of OBS, which I'm recording right now. So I'm going to go for exit without a restart. So it's a mandatory. You have to go for a restart. Once restart is done, just try to launch the game. Next one is all about you can try with the next one that is disable the Steam overlay. For this, just go over here in the game, right click and go to properties. Now from here, go over here. Make sure this should be turn it off. If it is turned it on, you have to turn this off. And once you turn this off, you have to launch the game and see whether the issue is solved. Or if it's not working, go over here in the launch option. You have to give the command that is DX11. Give the command the first one DX11 and launch the game. If DX11 is not working, change the command to DX12 and try launch the game. So either DX11 or DX12 will be working for you. So you can try with the DX11 or DX12. 
Next one is all about we can try with the next step that is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For this just go over here in the search, go to settings once again, go over here not over here, I'm sorry I got a mistake, so just search for graphics settings and you have to go over here right now as you can see i've already added many games so just click on the browse we need to navigate to the installation folder go to this pc go to local dc program for lx86 go to steam over here go to steam apps now from here go to common now from here find naraka blade point now from here select this one and add the game so right now the game is already added so you can see the game is added so just select this one go to the option by default this will be let windows decide so it is quite important for you to set this to high performance it's very important you have to set this to high performance go for the save close this go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we have to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory for this reason we have to go over here in the search search for view advanced system setting go to advanced go to settings once again advanced once again go for change now frame here go to custom size give the value for initial size that is 1.5 times the total RAM and maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So we need to do a calculation so we need a calculator so just go over here now go to the calculator so 32 GB is the RAM so just type your RAM multiply with a common value that is 1044 1024 1024 is a constant value don't get panicked just multiply it with 1.5. Now we, you'll be getting a value that is 49152 so just copy this and you have to paste it. Next one we have to try with 32 GB into 1024 that brings you to this and into 3 and that brings you 98304 so just copy this and paste it as well. So once you set the value to this just go for ok and you have to close everything and you have to do a restart and try and launch the game. This is not working, we have to move to the next one that we need to try with updating the windows. Just go over here in the search, go for settings, go to the windows update. Make sure the windows is up to date. If you are getting any update, just update it and once after that try launching the game. And also you have to make sure that, uh, you know, the overlay, I mean, uh, the things, many things might be running in the background. For example, in the background uh, process that is causing the crash, uh, crashing issue. For this, we just need to go over here, right click. We have to go to the task manager. Now from here you can see there are uh, around 44 uh, apps it's running in the background apart from this which all these are utilizing the RAM and the performance which is having crashing issue when I'm launching the game. So just remove the unwanted things. So if you find things like Discord, Reward Tuner, MSI, Afterburner, etc. All these are one of the main reasons why we are having the crashing issue. Remove all these things from here. Once you remove everything, unwanted things should be removed and once you go back and try to launch the game. Next one we have to try with uninstalling and reinstalling the game which is just go over here and go to the manage uninstall the game and you can reinstall the game back but you have to keep in mind <coughs> you should not be installing back on the same local disk, try any other local disk. Okay, that's what we have to do. Once you set this up, you just need to see with that. So last and the least one that I would like to add is you have to update the graphics card. So I'll be providing link in the description to both NVIDIA users. They can go to this particular link. The AMD users can go to this link. NVIDIA users can just go over here, give every details like product type, product series, product operating system, and go for language, English, etc. And go for start search. You'll be getting all the uh, sims over here like this. So right now the 536.67 is the latest released version. Just download this one, install and restart the PC. So if you're on the AMD, you have to go over here, select every details and go for submit. Now you'll be getting either on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, download this one, install, restart. And also parallel, you can also try one more step. That is for many users when they install Microsoft Visual C++, it did work it for them. Just go over here. So Microsoft Visual C++ is this one. So you can go over here, download and install and restart the PC and try to launch the game. So you have to download based on your system. So mine is x64 based operating system. So you just have to download this one and install and restart. So these are the possible workaround which you can be done when you're having an issue with Naraka Blade Point. And I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.